Hello everyone, welcome back to the Godzilla 2023 out of Encounter. My name is Matthew and today we're going to be doing day 12. Alright, let's give this thing a spin and let's see which one we got on the chopping block. No lag this time, surprisingly. Okay, my lag. Okay, a lot of it. Alright, the Godzilla 1995 finger puppets. Alright, let's do this. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Godzilla 2023 Adam Encounter. My name is Matthew, and today we are going to be taking a look at day 12's, as well, I'm almost about to say 11, no, no, we did 11 yesterday, 12's um, selection of figures, the UB Finger Puppets, uh, Godzilla 1995, version 1 and 2. So, first of all, version 1, since there's less to talk about him, um, the overall mold is... You know, a standard Heisei Godzilla, of course, it's burning. Um, the spines are sculpted really well, and the head is actually sculpted really well, too. Um, I will say that the burning patches do look a bit grainy. I mean, especially for the size. You're about to see in a minute that they can do better. I mean, this is actually kind of good. I like the burning patches here. I just think this just looks a little too globby. You know, now I'm just realizing that there's actually sculpted in details as to where the spines would be, uh, like, at the center of it. Really interesting. Burning Godzilla's got some fiery red eyes, reminiscent of that of the NECA Godzilla. Yeah, I see you up there. Um, it's up there on my shelf. Uh, claws look pretty good, too, and, of course, got that giant hold that, um, see, I fit your finger into. And, um, and, uh, obviously has, like, the tail. In there, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So, we're gonna start with this one, and uh, it has like the same kind of 95 mold, same mold as that, just in a different pose, looking up. And of course, he's in the bubble bath. Just kidding, this is just him in the water because you can kind of see the outline of the water steaming up because of how hot he is. And then you got like these buildings here, which honestly look really cool and just put into scale of how big this dude is. Because, I mean, look at those buildings. Look at him. Obviously, they're colored gray. And this is where you put the finger in. But what I don't understand is, what is the significance of this as a finger puppet? Because the whole point of a puppet show is that you have individual creatures interacting with each other that tell a story. You don't have a singular finger puppet that acts as the story, you put it as multiple finger puppets interacting with each other. I don't know, they're just collectibles. But why make them finger puppets? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, jokes aside, though, I think that these are really well done. This is also, I think, the longest one? Yeah, it's definitely the longest one out of the bunch. But with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel. Believe in Jesus, accept him as your Lord and Savior today, spread the gospel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless everyone.